What's bacon fam, it's your boy Shanka Muffin here, and welcome to my in-depth solo Commander Zilliana guide. As always guys, here's timestamps up on the screen, as well as there's some in the description. Feel free to skip to the section that you wish to watch. Alright, let's get into the general overview. Commander Zilliana is one of the four Galwar's Dungeon Generals. She is given the title of being the leader of the Cerudomans forces. Commander Zilliana is located in the Cerudomans encampment within Galwar's Dungeon, which requires two ropes upon first entry to access, as well as 70 agility in order for you to traverse the terrain to enter. Commander Zilliana is a tank of a boss, seeing as how her defenses are 100 for each stat. She uses both melee and mage for her attacks. Her max hit for melee is 27, while her max hit for mage is 20. Even though she has low hits, she has incredibly fast attack speed. She can actually hit every 1.2 seconds while making these attacks extremely accurate. A swift death is possible here at this boss. Zilliana has two highly sought after drops, the first being the Armadillo Crossbow and the second being the Cerudomans Hilt. The Armadillo Crossbow is the best crossbow in the game, while the Hilt is used to make the Cerudoman Godsword. The drop rates for both of these items are 1 out of 508. Zilliana also drops the Cerudoman Sword, which is a 1 out of 127 drop rate, the Cerudoman's Light, which has a drop rate of 1 out of 254. The Cerudoman's Light is used to remove the darkness in Krill Susaroth's lair. Lastly, she drops all three pieces of the God Sword Shards, which are all 1 out of 762. Zuliana also drops high alkables, such as room pieces, Renar seeds, and supply drops in order for you to stay longer for your trip. Overall, Commander Zuliana is a boss that needs keen attention to, while making camping her worthwhile for certain drops. Overall, this is Commander Zuliana. Let's move on to the requirements. Before you can even access God Wars Dungeon, the quest Death Plateau and Troll Stronghold need to be completed. From there you will need to bring a rope to access the main entrance to God Wars Dungeon, so long as this is your first time. As soon as you put a rope at the entranceway, it will stay there forever. You will need 70 agility to access Cerudoman's encampment. From here, two more additional ropes are required in order to access Cerudoman's encampment. So this is the first time you're going to God Wars Dungeon, as well as your first time going to the Cerudoman's encampment a total of three ropes will be required. Again, as soon as you use these ropes at all these entrances, you won't need to bring any more. They'll be here forever. Lastly, 37 prayer is required since you'll be camping mage for the entire time that you're in this boss room. All right, team, I got a lot of recommendations to go through, so let's get into it. And I'll begin with the combat stats. I recommend being over 100 combat, since you'll be ranging Zuliana, I recommend a range level of 85 plus. For defense, I recommend 90 plus because every monster within this boss room has accurate attacks and can hit fairly hard. I'd also recommend 70 plus hit points and 74 prayer to have access to rigor. Rigor is an amazing prayer to have. I highly recommend acquiring this prayer. Fork over the money to get this. This is used in raids, it's used in bossing, it's generally just an amazing prayer to have and you'll love it as soon as you unlock it. It's well worth the investment. Next, let's move on to the quest recommendations. There are two quest recommendations that I have, the first being Edgar's Ruse, since you unlock the ability to teleport to Trollheim, which is the closest teleport to Galwar's dungeon. I'd recommend buying some scrolls of redirection from Nightmare Zone to use them on your house teleports. You can revert these teleports back into house teletabs, but these are great to have because you have a Trollheim teleport right away, and then you have a house teleport as soon as you revert it back. The second quest recommendation is making friends with my arm. Upon completion, you can add a bonfire fire to the entranceway of the God Wars dungeon entrance, resulting in the bitter cold that drains your stats to be rendered useless, meaning you have the run energy to get to the entrance, as well as all of your stats are completely normal. Next up are the recommendations for your player-owned house. If you have the cash as well as the construction levels, I'd recommend that you get an ornate rejuvenation pool. This is great to have because it restores all your stats, your run energy, your special attack as soon as you're done with your trip, resulting in you just needing to go to a bank and you're pretty much good to go for your next trip. Second is a walled amulet of glory. Because of this mounted amulet of glory on your wall, you can just teleport to Edgeville to a very quick bank. Lastly, since Cerudome and kill count can be quite long, it's a good idea to invest in some ecumenical keys. These are allowed for skipping the 40 kill count requirement, and I have a detailed guide 
on how to receive these. Click the information bubble at the top of your screen to watch that guide. Now that the recommendations are done, let's move into the gear and inventory setup. Alright, I'm going to state the obvious. The Twisted Bow absolutely slaps Zilliana, but you most likely don't have this item, and I don't either. So, for those that are absolutely stacked, here's your gear loadout and your inventory courteous of the gear discord. So there you go, there's all your stuff that you need to wear, there's your inventory, oh, okay cool, awesome. Let's move on to the setup that I use for my solo kills. For your helm slot, roll with the Justitia face guard, Varax helm, Torax helm, Nezi helm, or Ceridoman's coif. Why Justitia face guard you may ask? Well it acts as a Ceridoman item that has prey bonus and has amazing ranged defense which is the primary type of damage that you'll be taking here at this boss. For your necklace slot, bring a necklace of anguish, amulet of fury, and amulet of glory. For your cape slot, bring a max cape, a ranged cape trimmed, Ava's assembler, or Ava's accumulator. For your chest slot, go with an armadillo chest plate, Carol's leather top, Ceridoman or Zamrak dehyde body, or black dehyde body. For your leg slot, go with an armadillo plate skirt, Varax plate skirt, Carol's leather skirt, Ceridoman or Zamrak chaps, or black dehyde chaps. For your main weapon, bring an armadillo crossbow, dragon crossbow, or rune crossbow. For your secondary weapon, you want to bring this, the toxic blowpipe. The blowpipe absolutely destroys the minions, and for your ammo for your blowpipe, I recommend Addy darts as a minimum. I rolled with Rune, but Addy will be fine. For your shield slot, run with a Twisted Buckler, Dragonfire Ward, Odium Ward, Crystal Shield, or Granite Shield. The Twisted Buckler is great because it has great range offensive, as well as has great range defensive. For your ammo, roll with Diamond Bolts E. If you don't want to use these, you could also use a combination of Ruby Bolts E, then switching off to Diamond Dragon Bolts E, or Ruby Dragon Bolts E. Me personally, I don't like switching that often, so I'm going to go with Diamond Bolts E. For your glove slot, Barrow's gloves are the best, followed by the Zamrak or Ceridoman Bracers, and finally Black Dehyde Van Braces. For your boot slot, go with Pegasian Boots, Ceridoman or Zamrak Dehyde Boots, Ranger Boots, or Snakeskin Boots. I use the Zamrak Dehyde Boots since they allow you to not get attacked by the Zamrak monsters that are in the encampment. For your ring slot, the Ring of Suffering Imbued is the best, followed by the Archer's Ring Imbued, then Ring of Wealth, and finally Ring of Life. For special attacks, use the Blowpipe. You can easily heal off the minions. They are quite weak to range, so I definitely recommend this. And that's it. That's it. That is your gear loadout. Let's move on to the inventory. For your inventory, go with a Blowpipe, 3 Ranging Potions or 3 Bastion Potions, 3 Stamina Potions, 4 Ceridoman Brews, 10 Super Restores, and 2 food items such as Dark Crabs. Also, bring a Teleport to Trollheim, Bones to Peaches Tabs, your Ecumenical Key, Purple Sweets, and a Teleport Owl. I'll go over as to why you only need one Trollheim Teleport later on, that is in the section of how to get there. Now, keep in mind, my inventory setup, this is what I used, this is what I felt was great. I stayed there for a long amount of time. Minimum kills per trip was 10, and my record was 23. Of course, this may be changed depending on your combat level and your experience, so just keep that in mind, but this is what I used and it worked for me. And if you're unsure what exactly Purple Sweets do or what they are, basically they heal you 1 to 3 HP, they provide 10 run energy each time that you eat one of them making this an excellent item to have here at Zilliana because you virtually can never run out of run energy nor health. And now that we know what our inventory setup is, let's learn how to get there. Teleport using your Trollheim tab. Drop a Super Restore once you get there. And then you're going to teleport to your house using your House Tele tabs. And once you're there, you're going to use your Mounted Amulet of Glory to teleport to Edgeville. And once you're in Edgeville, Use the bank to take out another Trollheim tab and a Super Restore. You're going to teleport back to Trollheim and pick up that Super Restore that you originally left off. Climb down Trollheim using the agility shortcuts that are provided and run north as soon as you're off the mountain. Pray range as soon as you approach the northern side of the mountain and eventually you'll come across a little pathway that leads you north. And you're going to come across a boulder. You're going to click on it to get past it. Run northeast and you'll come across the entrance to the God Wars dungeon. Be sure to pray melee because those wolves can do some damage. Once inside, run east. You'll come across the entranceway to the encampment. 
climb down the rocks and continue on your path and you'll climb down another set of rocks and then eventually you'll come across to Commander Ziliana's doorway. If you don't have an ecumenical key, then kill these Cyrodoman followers and try to find a safe spot. Although, I highly, highly recommend that you stock up on your ecumenical keys as these are really good to have and they're just generally just a really good thing to just have in your bank. If you don't have Edgar's Ruse completed, then follow this path I have up on the screen. Just be sure to bring some climbing boots because I'm pretty sure you're going to need those. The way that you're going to fight Zilliana is the hit and run method. Before you enter though, be sure to do the following. Set your quick prayers to protect from mage and rigor. If you don't have rigor, then use eagle eye. And also, drink up a Ceridoman brew, a restore, a ranging pot or bastion potion, and finally a stamina pot in that order. Once you're all set to go, activate your prayers and enter the room. Your ecumenical key will be consumed. Attack Zilliana once and continue to run around the room in a clockwise manner. You're going to be running from corner to corner in this room. You'll be attacking her as you run around. Your aim is to attack her twice on each wall that you're running along. You're going to attack once as you're halfway through, going from one corner to the next. And finally, your second attack proc will be when you come to a new corner. Since you'll be running away from Zilliana and praying mage, the only minion that will be doing damage is Bree. Bree will be ranging you. Keep an eye on your run energy and prayer throughout the fight and of course your health. Once Zilliana is dead, equip your blowpipe and tag the minions. What I mean by tagging is attack each of the following minions until an actual damage marker goes off. There is a chance that the minions will become venomed. As you can see, there are three bodyguards. Bree, who attacks with ranged, Starlight, who attacks with melee, and finally Growler who attacks with Mage. I camp Mage as I am not a fan of prey flicking nor just flicking in general. So if you want to prey flick, go for it. Your first minion, they're going to kill a Starlight and then you're going to focus your attacks on Bree. Be sure to use your blowpipe spec on either Growler or Bree as these two minions have the lowest amount of ranged resistance making you hit that blowpipe spec a higher probability. Once Bree is dead, kill Growler. Pick up any bones and transform them into peaches if you have the inventory space, or transform them into peaches and eat up right away so you can get your health up to full as much as you can. Heal up and restore your stats if necessary. Also, don't forget to use the altar to restore your prayer points. It can be used once every 10 minutes. Once you're all set for the next fight, stand in this exact square that I'm standing in right now. You're going to attack Ziliana and run to the southernmost corner and begin to run around the room. And you're just gonna do that rotation again of attack, run, attack, run, keeping an eye on all of your stats. And eventually, Ziliana will fall and you'll kill the minions. Congratulations. You now know how to solo Commander Ziliana. And for all of you visual learners out there, here's the full fight without any edits.
Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have learned on how to tackle this boss. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, feel free to check out what else I've done, as well as hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it if you guys give me feedback, as well as if you just tell me what I should do next in regards to a guide, or just give me ideas in general as to what type of videos I can make. Anyways, guys, my name's Shank and Muffin. I'm signing out. Feel free to join my Discord server. The link is down in the description below. You can talk to me there directly. And that's it, guys. I'm done here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please enjoy this outro.